Hello again from my front porch. It's been a few days since I did one of these, and the reason being is I did one Friday night at the Iowa Character Awards. I actually interviewed my uh, fellow selection committee member, Melissa Mann, uh, who, who we talked about why we do the award stuff, and uh, because it can be a hassle, it can be stressful, uh, or at least anxiety-inducing, because it's sometimes tough to really choose who you want to select as the winner of those awards. But it's very rewarding too, and so we talk a little bit about that. I also slipped in my uh, singing of the national anthem, which I was uh, honored to be able to do before the beginning of that awards event. And so I got to do that as well, and, and got a really nice kudo from Scott Racker, the executive director of the, well, the Ray Center is called now the Robert D. and Billy Ray Center. You may know it more commonly as the Character Counts of Iowa. Anyway, uh, he said a very nice, wonderful, very flattering thing about my singing afterwards. But you got to go back and watch it on that video because I finally got it done. It was uh, my, my program that I used to edit the videos and get them ready for the official YouTube channel was giving me a little bit of grief and it wasn't keeping the video and the audio in sync. And so it was looking like one of those Japanese kung fu movies that they dub in the English and you see people's lips go, and then you hear noise. <laughs> And that wasn't really the effect I was going for <laughs> on my front porch interview video with Melissa. So anyway, I got finally got that all straightened out, got it all fixed, and got it uploaded. It is now out there on the official YouTube channel, and it has been shared here to Facebook as well. I did not upload it as a raw video to my personal YouTube channel. So uh, if that's the only way that you watch these, you probably missed that one. But I did share it as a direct link on my personal Facebook page. So if you haven't watched that one yet, Please go back and watch it, not only because it's the one before this one that I'm referencing, but also because I put a lot of work into that. <laughs> so make sure you go take a look at it. Oh. Anyway, so uh, I, I didn't want to do any others of these before I got that one figured out because then it's like, well, well now well, they're out of order. What's going on? So finally that got uploaded and now I can, I can continue doing some other things. This has been a very busy week in general. Uh, the, we, as, I, as I've told you before, Waldinger, my company, bought Woolen, another local company, and now we've really started to ramp up the transition process, the, the, the assimilating those Woolen people into the Waldinger uh, entity, the Waldinger organization. And that means my capacity, the training area that, that I work with, uh, we're, mm, we're knee deep in it, maybe deeper than knee deep. <laughs> Because there's a lot of expectation for us to understandably facilitate the training that happens. Now, some of it's really technical training, and we can't really facilitate some of that stuff. Uh, we, we, can, we can help coordinate it to get the right people to do the right stuff, but we don't really have the technical knowledge and expertise to teach some really in-depth, high-level kinds of things. However, there are a lot of other topics that we can do and we can keep tabs on what's happening and we can, of course, manage the overall process because somebody has to keep the wheels on the bus to keep the, the learning process moving forward because that, sadly, that's something that can get tossed by the wayside sometimes and we don't want that to happen. So, uh, we've been very, very deep in that. I, I actually did some training myself on Monday uh, on, on some topics that we'd previously done at Waldinger that I was now teaching to folks at Woolen to help them understand. See, we don't have to teach them how to do their jobs. Most, I mean, these, the people already working at Woolen, they, they do very similar kinds of jobs to, the, to what the folks at Waldinger already do. However, every company has its own unique little ways of doing things, and that's the stuff that we have to focus on. It's not teaching them how to do their job, it's how to do the Waldinger job that they do. <laughs> so that's, that's, the, that's, that's the process. And it's a bit of a challenge too, because sometimes it's a little hard to distinguish between, well, what just is the job and what is a Waldinger specific about the job, uh, because sometimes those are so intertwined that it's really hard to separate them. Um, so so that's, that's a bit of the challenge too, but that's okay. I like a challenge. <laughs> uh, just like the video that I did, <laughs> I could have, I could have bailed. I could have just posted it without, without you know, just post the video and hope that it works. I could have done, I could, have, I could have said, hey, you know, it's good enough the way it is. Just deal with it. It's a little bit out of sync. Sorry, folks. But no, no, no. I wanted to make sure that it was quality that I put out there, and I love a challenge. 
<laughs> so, uh, so got that done. But anyway, so I'm, I'm heading in this morning and we're doing more of this kind of stuff. Uh, working on finishing up some training, actually some training that I did in the classroom a year or so ago. I'm now converting into uh, uh, video-based training, or online, not video-based training, but online training, module, uh, very bite-sized uh, training that they're able to, it's called micro-learning is now the new buzzword for that. I just call it making it bite-sized. Uh, but so I'm taking that learning that I did about a year ago and I'm working to script that and convert that into uh, user-driven training. They're able to pull it up on our internal wiki and view it whenever, they, whenever the user wants to make use of it because it has to do with our invoice system, how invoices are approved. And that's, again, another piece that these New Olin folks need to know. And, you know, if we can give them some aspects of it where they don't have to endure someone like me <laughs> teaching them in a classroom, but they can just click on a link and, and go through some stuff that shows them the, how, the, how this system works so that they can connect the dots with what they used to know to what they now need to know, well, pursue that too. Make life as easy on them as possible. Uh, what I want to avoid is doing one of those kind of things where we sit somebody, we sit them in a room for an entire day and just dump everything at them. That doesn't help anybody. That's probably the worst way to do training, frankly. Uh, now I do like a challenge, but that's a foolish challenge. <laughs> that is, that, that's that's not the way to do training because you just overload people, you overwhelm them, and they don't remember anything once they leave. That's just it's not effective. Anyway. Going to head off to work and, and go finish up getting that stuff processed. Uh, later today, I'm actually meeting with the president of the Des Moines division of our company uh, because we're hammering through some, some other details related to the training planning of stuff. And so that, that, that'll be interesting because there's a whole lot of moving pieces to this. And, uh, and there, there are some questions that people don't necessarily have the answers for yet. <laughs> so I'm hoping that sitting down with the president, I'm going to be able to uh, uh, visit about those details, get those things hammered out. Uh, because he has a obviously a higher level view uh, holistically of everything that's going on, whereas some of us down in the trenches we we, we can't see that full big picture the way that he can. So I'm I'm hoping that he's going to be able to shed some light on some things so that I can get that done. So I'm excited about that. I know it probably sounds weird to say I'm excited about those kind of things, but deal with it. I am. <laughs> I like my job, <laughs> and so I'm looking forward to going to do this. I, you know, I maybe this weekend, maybe in a week or two. I don't know. I have got to go do some more clothes shopping because I continue to wear these out these clothes. And and you know, here I'll, I'll show you this this particular uh, this, this particular shirt here. I got to adjust my tripod thing. This particular shirt here, I've got it so tucked in, it's not even funny, but it's it's still baggy. It's like. I feel like I, I feel like I'm wearing somebody else's clothes, and kind of I am wearing another guy's clothes. A guy that was a good 40, 45 pounds lighter than me, <laughs> or uh, heavier, heavier than me. <laughs> I'm lighter now. Oh, see, oh. <laughs> think it's time for caffeine. <laughs> All right, I'm going to let you go. Uh, I, I yeah, head off to work, get all my, uh, face my challenges. Yes, yes. And, and I'm going to go do that stuff. And I'll see you next time from my front porch. <laughs>